So what's it like to have lucid dreams every night? If you kind of get into lucid dreaming, at the very beginning, it's easy to get super excited. And you know, I did this at the beginning and I was like researching it. I wanted to do it all the time. And I wanted to know how I could have lucid dreams every single night or be, they call, they call it omni lucidity, having luc lucid dreams all the time in every REM period. And while that is possible, in this video, I'm, I'm going to explain why you might not want to do that. Even if you could do that, why you might not want to do that. So of course it sounds fun, right? It sounds like that's what you would want to do, especially if you're a beginner, you visualize kind of being an expert lucid dreamer, being able to do it all the time, when you, whenever you want, just to be able to induce a lucid dream. I don't think that's what you really want. And I'm gonna explain why. So before we get into this, I do have a free kind of PDF put together loads of free resources for you just check out the link in the description all of the links in the description there's all there's all kinds of interesting things in there if you've never clicked the show more button have a look at the description <laughs> or just go to howtolucid.com forward slash gift and then you can get a bunch of free stuff so let's get right back into it now i rarely speak about my experiences with lucid dreaming just because a good teacher doesn't really need to do that you know my experiences don't affect my ability to teach you how to have those experiences they're not really they don't go hand in hand although i like to think i you know i'm quite good at lucid dreaming even if i wasn't that doesn't mean i'm a, i would be a bad teacher it doesn't mean i would be a good teacher the two are kind of separate so while i have had periods in my life where i was lucid dreaming every single night where i would have you know several days and even weeks where I would just be lucid dreaming all the time. I don't think it's relevant to mention that because if, especially if you're a beginner and you hear something like that, you're going to start thinking, well, you know, I'm so far from being able to do that. I can't even have one lucid dream, let alone every night. So how does that help me? And it becomes, we, I become less relatable to beginners. So I just don't mention it. And even if, you know, even if this channel was full of advanced lucid dreamers, my ability doesn't affect your ability and, and vice versa. So, but that being said, I have had periods where I was able to lucid dream whenever I want, you know, kind of all the time. And I, I think two or three weeks is about the limit where beyond that, you know, it gets a bit patchy, you start to lose interest and it doesn't really happen anymore. So in my opinion, lucid, being able to lucid dream every night is actually not ideal. It's not what you want to aim for because firstly, you'll get bored. And secondly, you'll lose that kind of excitement that comes from just random lucid, just random dreams that are non-lucid and you don't know what's gonna happen. And then you can more easily interpret them. You can have a sense of like surprise and abandonment of your power. You can just relax a bit. You don't have to put this pressure on yourself of, you know, I need to lose a dream. I need to go in and do these, these things. You don't need to do that. Much better, in my opinion, to, to lose a dream a handful of times, maybe one or two times a week and make them really count. You know, have set up a, a clear purpose for the lucid dream, something you actually want to do. Uh, not just, you know, run around or treat it like a video game. Decide something you actually want to do, something you want to experience, and then do that. So hopefully you're not searching for omni lucidity because the truth is, firstly, it's gonna be difficult or unlikely to get there. And although it's possible, I don't think you truly want that. I mean, if you do, there are ways to do it, <laughs> you know, uh, you wanna really work with your subconscious beliefs, use affirmations a lot less of a focus on techniques and more of a focus on the holistic bigger picture. Think about optimizing and tracking your sleep using something like this ring. I'm not sponsored, I wish I was. <laughs> um, there's all kinds of things you can do, but it's not my goal and I don't wanna put pressure or you know influence you to want omni lucidity because I don't think it's the best situation. I think the ideal situation is to have a handful of lucid dreams a month, but not every night, not all the time. You know, it's like yin and yang. You've got to take a break from this stuff. You've got to maybe go hard with techniques and intention and trying to lucid dream and then relax and kind of give way to more natural, random, non-lucid dreams. If you didn't check out the PDF link already, it's pretty cool. You know, it's like a free, essentially it's an entire free ebook about how to lucid dream and the best techniques and kind of summarizing what I've learned over the last decade of teaching this stuff. You'll also get a free video training and a bunch of other stuff. So check it out, leave a comment letting me know what you think. And do you actually want to be lucid all the time? Do you really want to be lucid every single night? And if you do, what will you do in those dreams? Let me know.